Alrighty, let's check this out. Actually, I want to zoom in because I don't want to see more than I need to. All right. Picks it up. And <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. All right. I got some notes and questions, but I do like this a lot here. Mm, nice clean silhouette. I like this. So what I would say, I like your little move back, lift down into, hold on, what is this? And then let me just go, I know you're, you're struggling a little bit with kind of the pose to pose aspect of things. And I think this already works. There's enough speed for him to continue. I would potentially lean him forward a bit more. I'd be super picky just because he is not quite over this leg and you're already letting go. But if you look at that in real time, it kind of works. You're a bit slow, and then spacing-wise, you suddenly accelerate through here. So, so slow, whoop, suddenly fast. It feels like it's almost a little bit like that, spacing-wise. The reason I mention this is because if you don't have enough speeds going forward with this leg pushing off, you would feel a bit more off-balance there, and it wouldn't quite make sense physically to make that, that move forward. Also, watch out. So what I'm saying is that in order to, like, don't go this far, but in order to rebalance this, you would move forward so that even if this leg is now uh, off the ground, do a totally different knee, then it's still balanced. But imagine you're like this, and imagine now you're taking the leg off, you're going to fall backwards, if that makes sense, just because you're letting go here. And he's already, he's not quite enough over this for balance. Right, so either your leg is like this, and the body's like this, or your leg is still like this, but the body's forward like that. It's just, just like a general thing for balance and and all that good stuff here. Watch out the spacing of your root here, going to the left, and boom, stop. Right there, right. This is your wall right there. Let's put the onion skin there, and boom. So watch out for that. You gotta ease into this. You can overshoot and come back a bit. Then as you go forward, I like that you have, there's a bigger move in this, but watch out, you have your, your arms together here, and then it feels like they're both going down at the same time, especially through here. It feels like the spacing here is fairly even on all of them. But again, it helps that suddenly the other arm goes out, but it's, it's ever so slightly still Everything's moving at the same time, meaning if you look at upper body, head, and arm, or arms, they go down at the same time versus, ooh, what is this? And also watch out, this doesn't quite work eyeline wise. Even this looks a bit too to the left. That feels better. So watch out for that. Even this feels like it's here. And now it's like that. So in order to help you with offsetting things so it doesn't feel so pose to pose and everything, you could have this. Then again, watch out for the spacing here so it doesn't suddenly, suddenly accelerate. But then you can have a, a more distinct head down move. I'm breaking the rig here, but you know, it would be chest down, upper body and head and everything. But imagine this goes down first. So he has to look more like, oh, what is this? Then you could take this arm first. So when you're here, imagine during this move, it might get a bit convoluted in terms of silhouette, but I just want you to practice offsets. Head goes first, right? During this move, you have, a, you have the head that rotates down very distinctly. And you can always push and exaggerate and make it like way too over animated, but then at least we can pull back a bit. Then after that, the, the important thing is that this guy grabs this, right? And he's grabbing it with his right hand. So that is the driver so first of all you're moving your head down to indicate to the audience i'm looking at this so now the audience understands this connection then leave this arm up here but this arm goes down right even through here goes down so now we understand oh okay i'm gonna grab this then by the time you're around you know maybe here's or whatever then this arm goes back for balance and clean silhouette so that you end up around here-ish. 
No, slight tension, not really. It's nice. It's a nice. I like the the breakup and all of this. Like it's a nice clean silhouette. So now you grab this, and then let me see. Yeah, oh, it's not too bad, but it still feels like we go down, stop. Now, see this? Head rotate, wrist rotate at the same time. Helps that this is not moving, but that's a bit too in sync. So the next thing is that he's getting up. So I think what I would do is once you get down here, don't move the head. Do something with this first where it might, you might do this. You know, it's, it's okay to overlap things where he grabs this and gets up at the same time. But again, to help you with offsets, you would be here and then he could maybe lift this, you know, where it's more upper arm and elbow and he lifts it up. All the same pose, but this goes first. That's number one. Then number two is the root going up. Then this, which you kind of have, See, that works a lot better. Root two, three, and then again to this. But again, it doesn't quite work, eye line. So either you bring the head lower, which might be tricky, but you know, also feel free to just move those arms forward. And now it's here. And then lower the head a bit, and now you got the right eye line. Then this, you're back into pose to pose. Like you're hitting this, okay. And then what happens? Like that. You got movement movement head up this comes a bit later which is good but generally if you watch this in real time it feels like arms rip and head at the same time versus huh i wonder what's in here so you could technically turn the head first because you don't want the guy to you know pop this into his face so you imagine you're rotating the head first so you're doing this first and watch out spacing wise you're going up a little bit and then suddenly it pops over like that's a linear key right there also your arc is very flat there that's your arc see that or lack of arc so imagine you're, you're rotating up a bit and in y so that the head is like this and almost there and then you bring this up so again you're showing to the audience oh i'm going to turn my head close my eye so that i want to listen to this and then the arm both of them go up into this. All right. I like that transition of that we are like totally different. Like he goes and then whoa, I like that. Nice offset too, in terms of just, it's not super twinned. Like it just has just enough of asymmetry there. Watch out that, that feels a bit stiff there, a bit linear there. I think that's not too bad. I mean, it's a bit of an overlap with a tangent with the pinky and this part here. But it still has the structure of the arm here. And then you definitely go into clean silhouette, which is good. I think if you have to be picky, you could... I know you have it. I was going to say you can relax those fingers, but you are. Then, see, that feels again a bit... Even though you're moving with the head first... It feels like head is moving and I see this moving and I see the chest tilting forward. It still feels a bit and everything moves versus what is he doing? He's going to look at his foot. So you might do something where you're going to, you know, he's looking here. So the audience might be stuck here visually. So you're going to start relaxing those fingers, bring that elbow down a bit, relax that shoulder and then turn the head. Not like a massive, like one second, two second, three second, but versus a couple frames, right? So that the eye goes here, because this is, if you look at this here, he goes, huh, I'm looking here. Clean silhouette, he's looking here. That's where my eye is stuck. You want to bring the eye back to here. So imagine your fingers curl, your eyes are here. The elbow goes down, the eyes travel here. The shoulder goes down, eyes travel here. Now the head turns. The audience is here to look at... Don't go down yet. Just move the head over so that, you know, you're at this angle, but not so flat towards us. He needs to be angled a bit more here. So you'd be slightly more three quarter, just a bit. So imagine after all of this, the head turns and looks down. So now you're indicating to the audience, I'm looking here. Then you're ready to do this. And I like that you're shifting the weight first. That's important for balance. You're not lifting the leg up yet. So that's great. You're doing this. Then the foot goes up. 
bit uh, bit straight. You can probably work on the arc it's a bit more. Also, really comes to a hard stop there. Shtoom. Versus, you know, we have an arc and then the root might go a bit left and right for balance. And then it feels like, hold on, if your foot is here. Ooh, look at that. You're straight back into the same pose. Don't do that. You don't want to go A to B back to A. It would be A, B, C. So your landing might be here. Again, in a different pose. You might even have a slight shift. The thing that's confusing at the end to me, and again, you're doing... Look at that. Arms moving at the same time. The head is a bit earlier. That's good. Right? So you watch this, you go, oh, I like that. See, that's a good separation, head first. But then your arms are moving at the same time. And they don't even, they don't rest enough. You have like a pop. Suddenly they pop down. They both go down at the same time. There's no no asymmetrical timing there. You know, no offset. They hit this at the same time. I don't know. It's just, it's just and then you're bending your spine towards camera. Versus he might do this and, and take a step. And then you are into something where he's like that. And now you have a nice, you know, change in your spine versus anything that bends towards camera. We, we can't tell. You're just shrinking visually the height. But we don't quite see the contrast in the spine and the C curve. That's just in terms of posing and, and camera stuff. But the confusing thing is that he goes, oh, what's this? Okay. Huh. Now he's doing this. Like after we've all realized, okay, you got a costume on. That's a pretty big thing of, okay, what's my foot? So I'm expecting, oh, he's going to do something where he's going to go, you know, something where he might lean over and go, all right, well, I got, what's that? It's my leg here. I'm going to go back here and go, I can stomp this with my super suit. And that's what causes this. It's totally confusing to me that he goes, ooh, foot. Fist smash. <laughs> that is so super weird to me. Like that to me, like he's going to go like that. And then he might even pivot off the heel in dramatic fashion. Bring out the leg like that and goes, guess what, guys? I'm ready. And then goes into like a sumo type of shoot boom. And then as he has this, you know, it's much more exaggerated where he's really, really lowing like Rah! type of stuff. Anyway, these are my thoughts. As always, these are subjective. Feel free to take whatever you need. But that's what I would tweak and change. And again, definitely better. Uh, still room for improvement. You're getting better at it, though. So really, really, really look at what are the actions of the character? What's the next action? And where do you lead the audience's eye to, you know, the body parts and everything? That will make the, the storytelling clear. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.